once again, Mike Cernovich with the final segment. There's so much going on. And for those of you who are wondering how to find me, you can go to twitter.com forward slash Cernovich. So much going on. We have, of course, uh, a reminiscent. I think that we've talked a lot about the Seth Rich case, and I wanted to talk about it just a little bit more because there's a lot of fake news about my role in the investigation. And of course, they always lie about us when they can. The number one thing I've noticed about the Seth Rich case is the media is telling us we can't talk about it. Well, that sounds an awful lot like Hillary's health. The last time the fake news media told us we couldn't talk about a subject, it was Hillary's health. They said, you guys cannot talk about it. She's perfectly healthy. And then of course she had a seizure on 9-11. And then today she had another coughing fit. Why does the media care so much about debunking, which they're not doing? Why do they care so much about debunking the Seth Rich case? Hey, there's a few people. If I spent my time debunking all the nonsense about me and Alex Jones that George Soros funds every day, I couldn't get any work done. I don't care that there are a bunch of people lying about me on the internet every day of my life. I don't have time to go mess with that. So why is the media creating a narrative to shut this story down? Now, I'm going to be clear about what my position is. I do not know if Seth Rich was the source of the DNC leaks, but I also do not believe that the Russians had any involvement with that. The, the, any IT guy could have provided the kind of emails that WikiLeaks had in the, in the leaks. So why is it that the media is freaking out so much? We didn't, because we're investigating. What we found through our investigation is that told, there's been total police incompetency and that the DNC rushed in to help the family and there's been no competent investigation. And this is why I know there is some kind of cover up, cover up with the Seth Rich murder. Imagine something happened, God forbid, to an InfoWars person, right? I can tell you what would happen. There would be a 24-hour hotline. There would be a tip line. Alex would be offering reward money. It would be a full... 9-11 style kind of emergency. What is going on? What happened? Private investigators would be hired. There would be actually what is going on, a full investigation. Seth Rich was a DNC staffer. The DNC is a multi-billion dollar corporation. They bring in all the money from all the big donors, Warren Buffett, Facebook, Zuckerberg. They bring in all the money from Soros. Where was the hotline? Where was the investigator? Isn't that interesting that the DNC did not hire a private investigator? They did not set up a billboard. They did not offer a tip line. They didn't put billboards up in the neighborhoods where he was murdered. They didn't send people out right away to investigate. They didn't look for any camera footage. Has anyone here seen a photo picture of the suspect? Cameras everywhere. There are cameras everywhere because we live in this Orwellian world in DC, big brother style surveillance state in DC. I haven't seen a sketch of a suspect. Why not? Why is there a billboard up? Why weren't the rewards offered? No, 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 the DNC didn't hire anybody to investigate the murder, to find the murderer. OJ Simpson did a better job pretending to look for the real killer than the DNC did to look for the killer Seth Rich. Instead, all the DNC did was they go, oh, hey, we're going to give you a PR damage control person. So all the DNC cared about was covering it up, doing damage control, sending some public relations flack who doesn't care about the Seth Bridge family. He only cares about the DNC and their reputation. And there was no investigation ever done. To me, that's intriguing. Again, I'm not saying Seth Rich was the source of the WikiLeaks because I don't know. And as a lawyer and a journalist, I look for the evidence. I don't say what I, I don't make up stories like the fake news media. There are more questions than answers. And we're going to keep looking and the fake news media cannot stop us. During this Memorial Day, I want to thank the veterans that have fought. But of course, most importantly, those that have died, because that's what this holiday and remembrance is all about. Take advantage of these unprecedented specials and help support the tip of the spear in the fight against the globalists while supplies last. These are the biggest sales ever on these items. You add auto ship, several of these are lost leaders. So for myself and the entire InfoWars crew, I salute you and thank you for all your prayers on this Memorial Day. Just understand that without you, there'd be nothing because you are the InfoWar.